Lord, as we come forth, Lord, teaching your gospel, the good news, Lord, I ask you to govern our heart, spirit, soul, mind, and body, that we might understand your refuge, your strength, and your glory in Zion. Oh, God, I ask you to bless every listener tonight, or in the daytime, whenever they hear this message, on audio cassette or on KTYM radio station, Father, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right. Turn with me briefly in the book of Psalms, Psalms, the 47th chapter, and we will begin reading from verse number 1. And it reads, Clap your hands, all ye people. Uh, I'm talking about the saints, the one that have the joy of the Lord. Shout unto God with the voice of a trumpet. The word have a loud sound before God. He's not nervous. So one person said one time to me, he said, well, you don't have to do all that shouting like that. God is not nervous. <laughs> I let him know God is not nervous. God not nervous. And he's not deaf neither. He can hear. He knows all things. You don't blind him by uh, showing the brightness of his glory through the light that you live. Or the praising of him from your lips. God wants us to praise him in spirit and in truth. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is great. He is a great king over all the earth. He is a great king. Better watch it because he, he don't play. He mean what he said, and he only says what he mean. He shall subdue the people, uh huh, under us. All these evil doers, God will settle them. God will bring them under us. In other words, we will have dominion over evil spirits. Cast them down, bind them up. In the New Testament, Jesus said. Uh -huh. So, as we continue on this message, uh, the message today is, God is our refuge. And my subtopic is, the glory of Zion. The church, she is related to as, uh, the glory of Zion. Why is this so? Because uh, the church... Uh, is related to as a she and not a he because the church brings forth sons and daughters unto God. Alright, so as we look at the great king and his message, what he's projecting to our hearts, mind, spirit, and body here is, we're focusing in on the Lord the Most High and the great king, over all the earth, things in heaven, things under the earth, and also everything in encompass the earth. God has the final word, the judgment. He shall settle, so do me to settle the people under us, all these game sayers, liars, wizards, astrologers worship. Thomas, witchcraft workers, worshiping voodoo, hoodoo, serving the six sisters, gainsayers, they will be subdued under us. God will give us power and dominion over these kings, over these nations, these people who operate in evil. Then it goes on to say, he shall subdue the people under us. 
and the nations under our feet. In other words, we will become his representative. We will become his ambassador. One that sit in high position on the earth, blowing a trumpet by the light that we live and shouting the word of God with a loud voice. He saves from the uttermost to the guttermost. He don't care how low you've been, God can save and will save from sin, death, and shame. I'm 